was bitter cold, it was in January. And I was coughing terribly, I had a very bad cold. And my three dearest friends, Susie Kunz, Liesl Stepper, and Ilse Kleinzeller, and I, we huddled together, the four of us. And they, they were very concerned about me. They said, you know, if you can only pull through with a terrible cold and a terrible cough, might be pneumonia, what have you. And in the morning, very early, the doors opened, not to the type of freedom we had hoped, but it opened to an, an incredible picture. There was freshly fallen snow for as far as the eye could see. It was an enormous, it was a plateau, and then came up to, to a gentle hill. And it was just covered with snow. It was gray, it was snowing. And uh, we were told to uh, assemble four abreast. So, of course, there were the four of us. And uh, we held hands and we took the first step. And I guess we all knew that this is going to be the first step to the end of the road, either to liberation or to, to doom. And in front of us stretched this incredible line. And when people looked, you know, with gray um, camp blankets over them, they looked like winged death. That's all you could see. Way, way ahead, 4,000 girls. And on the side was the SS men and the SS women, and they lifted their whips. And they said, forward, march. And we started to march. It was the 29th of January. Uh, we, we left a lot of girls lying in the snow. Many were killed. It was something one can barely can really not describe. 